there you go, you're ready. Okay, so today I'm going to talk about um, strokes and canines. So the reason uh, I was kind of interested in this is because my family had a Jack Russell Terrier and he was almost 17 when he died. Um, he died about a year and a half ago and he had a couple strokes. So, uh, what is a stroke? So a stroke is loss of blood flow to parts of the brain that leads to neurologic abnormalities. Um, there's two mechanisms that can cause strokes in dogs. Um, there can be an obstruction in blood vessels, which can occur due to blood clots, tumor cells, clumps of platelets, bacteria, or parasites. And then there could also be bleeds in the brain, uh, which could result from the rupture of blood vessels or um, clotting disorders. Uh, but many strokes are caused by an embolus, which is a blood clot that develops somewhere in the circulatory system, and when it's dislodged, it uh, travels to the blood vessels in the brain and causes a clot. Okay, so in dogs, um, the signs are similar to humans, um, but dogs obviously can't, um, they don't suffer from slurred speech or loss of memory. Um, because the, our dogs can't tell us if they're feeling dizzy or they can't see out of their left eye, um, the strokes sometimes go unnoticed, so it's more common to see like massive strokes in dogs. Um, so this is Jake, our Jack Russell. Um, this was after, so for a couple days, he couldn't um, even stand up, but this was when he figured out uh, he could sit up again. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Computers will do that. That's we'll just tilt our heads. Okay. <laughs> without having a stroke. <laughs> I don't have the volume on you see how it worked that in there. Talking to him. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, he's he he tried to get up yeah. and he kinda of struggled a little bit. Yeah, he's wearing diapers. <laughs> Now, when what I know he just died at seventeen, but what, what age is it? When um, he was about he was sixteen. Yeah. Okay, sixteen. Yeah. So, so that's pretty good. Even sixteen for a Jack Russell. That's yeah. on the end of their range usually. That's amazing. So, yeah, he starts to. Yeah. Couldn't quite get it, but yeah. Yeah, get the gist of that. Um, so causes to strokes in dogs. Mm -hmm. um, so from what I researched, um, I found that vets usually only see a few stroke cases per year, and when they do, it's usually a really old dog that has other diseases that um, increase the risk of clots or bleeding. Um, so some of these would be like kidney disease, um, so that can cause cerebral hemorrhage, um, diabetes, the glucose can build up and lead to clots. And then um, heart disease, uh, blood pooling in the heart can also lead to clots, and then cancer. Um, they're not quite sure, but it's thought that cancer and its treatment um, affects the blood vessels and the body's clotting mechanisms, and it can also cause um, blood to thicken. And there's also no breed or sex uh, predisposition associated with strokes and dogs. So that's interesting. So it's kind of almost uh, like an old it's, age yeah, it's, problem. Yeah, age. Yeah. And it's actually, if you have a stroke, that's secondary to something else that's right. primary. So this is Jake when he figured out how to walk. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, let's get sideways. Um, we'll actually, tilt wait, again. Can I yeah, it is frustrating, but you know, yeah, it wasn't. it's not going to cooperate. <laughs> So he's kind of climbing up the mountain here. There we go. Yep. There go. So it was kind of terrible. Yep. Yeah. So he, he could get around. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There. Um, so treatment, so like you said, it is a secondary thing. So first they would, um, to rule out a cardiac problem, they would do an electrocardiogram um, and x-rays. And if they found that the heart was normal, um, they would do an MRI or a CAT scan to check out the brain. And then um, blood work can also be done to rule out the underlying disease. Um, and then blood thinners can be given and steroids can be given as well. Um, but the neurologic signs um, are allowed to resolve on their own as like, the blood flow is reestablished to the area. Um, so you would typically give blood thinners if it was caused by a clot. Um, and then steroids help relieve the swelling of the brain. Uh, so Jake was on uh, steroids and it helped with his pain and his walking, but it did cause his um, thin to skin. Or, Skin too thin. There we yeah, go. Okay. <laughs> so we had to like take his collar off because even that would like irritate him. Like, okay. yeah. Um, I have one more video. Okay. This is him uh, when he was like a lot better. Okay. So, so how, like how this was in the morning. So he'd start like kind of wobbly at first, and then he'd get 
you get the hang of it. Scary mm. is wobbling, thinking. Now, how long it. after the stroke is this? Oh, uh, I want to say it was probably close to about a week. Okay, a okay, okay. Like, okay. So look yeah. at him just in a week. So okay. yeah, he yeah he's back up. Yeah, he's going. So yeah, that's Jake. Mm -hmm. um, so prevention, there's no known way to really effectively prevent strokes in dogs, but um, blood work and routine checkups with your veterinarian can help discover and treat the underlying disease that can cause the stroke. Um, okay, so these are some other pictures of Jake. I just wanted to fit in here because he is so incontinent and just, he's pretty funny. So this picture is him sitting in his food bowl. Um, he would trip into the water bowl and the food bowl a lot. Um, the bottom picture is him rolling out of his bed. Um, the right picture is him, he was literally stuffed like that behind the couch. Like, we, I just walked in and saw him like that, so naturally I took a picture first and then helped him. <laughs> and now, a lot of people would help first and then maybe a picture later. But. And the top one, I don't know, he just thought that was a good place to sit, I guess, so he was pretty funny. But um, So obviously make sure your dog is comfortable in a quiet, warm environment and remove anything that they can help, uh, hurt themselves on. So eventually we had to take his bed away from him because he obviously would hurt himself on that. Um, but during the day we would keep him in the family room like on blankets and stuff, but at night um, we would gate him in our laundry room and like take away his food and water bowls so that he couldn't hurt himself. Um, and yeah, so for the few days that he was, that he couldn't walk, we um, like hand fed him rice that was cooked in um, chicken broth and like made sure he could drink water and we just rotate fully him. Um, Sound like you guys are good nurses because you know that my was my mom a, is a nurse, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Because um, just a week after he had the stroke, he was walking pretty good, you know. Yeah. Versus when you we first saw. Him. Yeah, he was on um, prednisone. Well, prednisone is very common. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. steroid. Okay, so then, uh, how long till he passed away? He well, he um, after his strokes, he just got worse and worse. So we ended up making the decision. Yeah. For him, um, he passed away. It was a month or two. Uh, it was Christmas time when he passed away. And he okay, had, so the span between it was a, like two months. I think. Okay, so he had two yeah. months with you guys after yeah. that before he did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because when you first saw him, you think, well, maybe he, sh he should. The term is crossover. I learned that this summer at uh, Best Friends Animal Sanctuary. <laughs> they never say anything about euthanasia or anything. What's well, a no-kill shelter? But they say, when did your dog cross over? That's a very nice. So two months, yeah. two months past the stroke. Okay, a count. You, you point to the people. So I know that when sometimes people have strokes, they do physical therapy and stuff. Did the veterinary recommend that? Or um, because recommend that? he was so old, we didn't take him so that we knew what it was like um, and what we could do for him. So we, yeah, I'm sure that they would recommend that, but we didn't get anyone to do that because he was almost seventeen. Mm -hmm. so yeah, I mean, he, really. It's amazing you lived that long. Yeah. There's another one over here. Um, so I have a couple questions. One is just a, a general question, I guess, about the diaper. Is that yeah. an old age thing or just like a... Yeah, he, okay. yeah, the incontinence. He would just kind of pee or like he... Would but it was after the stroke. Eat, eat. Well, this this was even before. Oh, even before. Seat. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, so they make yeah, doggy diapers and yeah. just keep them on and wash them. Sure. <laughs> and then he, do you have another? Yeah. And um, so the other thing... I think it was for strokes, um, but for like at least in humans, apparently some people will smell toast or something. So I'm wondering if dogs oh, wow. would like sniff around mm. if they're like smelling for something, if it's if there's some sort of. Okay, are you saying in the, in the human population, when they're having a stroke, they might smell toast it's like or like just a, before? Just before, it's kind of like uh, in a dog learning that somebody has epilepsy. So just before you smell toast. I wish I hadn't heard that. <laughs> I don't know. Do you know? I, heard, I don't know. Have anybody heard that? Have you heard that? Yeah, I know they say that they smell something. I forgot what it was. Well, the thing is, you know, that can all be. Not a dog, but people. Yeah, maybe. Who knows with the dog? You'll never find out because they won't tell you. But the thing is, you can, your brain, if certain areas are funky, you can smell anything in the world, right? You know what I mean? And so it's interesting, toasts might be a warning sign of a stroke. That's interesting. That's, see how, see the benefit of all this? I mean, we throw these little... Really warning signs. I did see him have one of his strokes. It was kind of, it looked kind of like a seizure a little bit. Okay, yeah. I bet you that would be confusing with a seizure. I mean, yeah. seizure or stroke, that could blend across and you might not know for sure. We figured stroke because of his symptoms, but he was yeah. going through it. Okay. 
Okay, excellent. See?